Ulrich Beck, the 15th of May 1944 to the 1st of January 2015, was a well-known German sociologist and one of the most cited social scientists in the world during his lifetime. His work focused on questions of uncontrollability, ignorance and uncertainty in the modern age, and he coined the terms risk society and second modernity or «reflexive modernization». He also tried to overturn national perspectives that predominated in sociological investigations with a cosmopolitanism that acknowledges the interconnectedness of the modern world. He was a professor at the University of Munich and also held appointments at the Fondation Maison des Sciences de l'Homme in Paris, and at the London School of Economics. <laughs> Life Beck was born in the Pomeranian town of Stolp, Germany now Slusk in Poland, in 1944, and grew up in Hanover. He began university studies with a focus on law at Freiburg, and from 1966 onwards studied sociology, philosophy, psychology and political science at the University of Munich. Starting in 1972, after earning a doctorate, he was employed at Munich as a sociologist. In 1979 he qualified as a university lecturer with a habilitation thesis. He received appointments as professor at the universities of Münster 1979 to 1981 and Bamberg 1981 to 1992. From 1992 until his death, Beck was Professor of Sociology and Director of the Institute for Sociology at the University of Munich. He received numerous international awards and honours, including election to the Council and Executive Board of the German Society for Sociology. From 1995 to 1997 he was a member of the Commission für Zukunftsfragen der Freestaaten Bayern und Sachsen Bavarian and Saxon State Commission for Questions Concerning the Future. Beginning in 1999, he was the speaker of the DFG Research Programme on Reflexive Modernity. From 1999 to 2009 Beck was a spokesman of the Collaborative Reflexive Modernization Research Center 536, an interdisciplinary consortium of four universities in the Munich area funded and overseen by the German Research Foundation DFG. Beck's theory of interdisciplinary reflexive modernization on a basis of a wide range of topics in appropriate research was empirically tested. The theory of reflexive modernization works from the basic idea that the rise of the modern industrial age produces side effects across the globe that provide the institutional basis and coordinates that modern nation states question, modify, and open for political action. He was active as sociologist and public intellectual in Germany and throughout the world, regularly intervening in debates on the European Union, climate change change and nuclear energy. At the time of his death, he and his international research group were only 1.5 years into the five-year research project, "...methodological cosmopolitanism, in the laboratory of climate change." The Cosmo Climate Research Project, of which Beck was the principal investigator. For this research project he received the prestigious ERC Advanced Grant, scheduled to terminate in 2018. Along with Beck, sociologists David Tyfield and Anders Bloch lead work packages within the overall project. The project also fostered international research collaboration with various research hubs in East Asia through the Europe-Asia Research Network 
In cooperation with Ern, Beck and sociologist Sang Jin Han had been set to lead a two-year project for the Seoul Metropolitan Government beginning in 2015. Beck was a member of the Board of Trustees at the Jewish Center in Munich and a member of the German branch of Penn International. He was married to the German social scientist Elisabeth Beck Gernsheim. He died of a cardiac infarction on 1 January 2015, at the age of 70. Research contributions For 25 years, Beck delivered new diagnoses to the following question, how can social and political thought and action in the face of radical global change environmental destruction, financial crisis, global warming, the crisis of democracy and the nation-state institutions be intertwined in a new modernity? A radicalized modernity, for Beck, attacks its own foundations. Institutions such as the nation-state and the family are globalized from the inside. Beck studied modernization, ecological problems, individualization and globalization. Later in his career, he embarked on exploring the changing conditions of work in a world of increasing global capitalism, declining influence of unions and flexibilization of the labor process, a then new theory rooted in the concept of cosmopolitanism. Beck also contributed a number of new words to German and Anglophone sociology, including risk society. Second modernity, reflexive modernization, and Brazilianization. According to Beck, all contemporary political thinking emanates from the methodological nationalism of political thought and sociology and other social sciences. Risk society was coined by Ulrich Beck and Anthony Giddens during the 1980s. According to Beck and Giddens, the traditional industrial class structure of modern society is breaking apart. Globalization creates risks that concern people from all different classes, for example, radioactivity, pollution, and even unemployment. Affluent households act to insulate themselves from these risks, but cannot do so for some, for example, global environmental change. The poor suffer them. He points out that risks are also socially constructed and some risks are perceived as more dangerous because they are discussed in mass media more frequently, such as terrorism. Risk society leads to analysis of risks, causing prejudgment. Beck was the editor of the sociological journal Soziale Welt in German since 1980, author of some 150 articles and author or editor of many books. Topic: The Spinelli Group. On 15 September 2010 Beck supported the European Parliament's Spinelli Group initiative to reinvigorate federalism in the European Union. The Union of European Federalists and its youth organization Young European Federalists have been promoting the idea of European federalism for over 60 years, with a belief that only a European federation, based on the idea of unity in diversity, could overcome the division of the European continent." Prominent supporters of the initiative include Jacques Delors, Daniel Cohn-Bendit, Guy Verhofstadt, Andrew Duff and Elmer Brock. <laughs> Awards. 1996 City of Munich Cultural Prize of Honor 1999 Cicero Speaker Prize Award 1999 German-British Forum Award for Outstanding Service to German-British Relations together with Anthony Giddens 
2004 Award of DGS for Outstanding Achievements in the Field of Public Achievement in Sociology 2005 Scharder Prize, the most prestigious award for social scientists in Germany 2014 Lifetime Achievement Award for Distinguished Contribution to Future Research of the International Sociological Association In 2013 he received an ERC Advanced Grant to carry out the Cosmo Climate Research Project Methodological Cosmopolitanism, in the Laboratory of Climate Change, with David Tyfield and Anders Bloch amongst others. Honorary doctorates: eight, University of Jyväskylä, Finland, 1996; University of Macerata, Italy, 2006; University of Madrid, UNED, Spain, 2007; Catholic University of Eichstätt Ingolstadt, 2010; University of Lausanne, Switzerland, 2011; Free University of Varna, Bulgaria, 2011; University of Buenos Aires, Argentina, 2013; Saint Clement Oradsky University of Sofia, Bulgaria, 2013. Topic: Works. Among his major works are. Topic: Essays. World Citizens of All Countries, Unite! Democracy Beyond the Nation State, Europe Must Make a Beginning. Theses for a Cosmopolitan Manifesto. World Citizen Manifest in. The Time, 1998 No. 30 The Society of the Less. The Burst Dream of the Rise in Germany, ZDF, January 17, 2005 Gentle World Power Europe. Vision of a cosmopolitan empire that no longer relies on national ideas, in, Frankfurter Rundschau July 5, 2005 Blind to Reality, in, Frankfurter Rundschau, September 3, 2005 Europe can not be built on the ruins of the nations, with Anthony Giddens, in, The World, October 1, 2005 Farewell to the Utopia of Full Employment, in, Neue Zürcher Zeitung, November 4, 2006 Tragic Individualization, in, Sheets for German and International Politics, 2007, Issue 5, pp 577–584 God is Dangerous in Die Zeit, 2007 No. 52. The Error of the Caterpillar, in, Frankfurt General Newspaper 14 June 2011 Fainting, but Legitimate, in, The Daily Newspaper 28 October 2011 Machiavelli's Power, in, Der Spiegel, October 8, 2012 for a European Spring, in, The Daily Newspaper Taz, November 23, 2012 <inaudible> <inaudible> Interviews Freedom or Capitalism Ulrich Beck in an interview with Johannes Wilms, Surkamp, Frankfurt am Main 2000 Interview, Telepolis, November 28, 1997. Choice will not save the country. Interview in New Window. An encounter. Memento of the 6th of July 2007 at the Internet Archive with Beck on Lake Starnberg, Tagespiegel, September 23, 2005. Unemployment is a victory. Interview with Constantine Sackis, in, Der Tagesspiegel on 30 November of 2006. Anyone can create their own God. In the Tagesspiegel of 20 July 2008. Questions of Faith. 
A New Enthusiasm, Talk with Arno Widman, in Frankfurter Rundschau, 15. August 2008 Action in the State of Not Knowing. Ulrich Beck, Risk Society Theorists, on the Turncoats of the Financial Crisis and the Importance of Europe, in, Frankfurter Rundschau, November 5, 2008 Merkel engages in the dressing up box in, Suddeutsche Zeitung, 12. February 2010 A strategically staged mistake, talk with Andreas Zielke in, Suddeutsche Zeitung, 14. March 2011 In bed with the others, Ulrich Beck and Elisabeth Beck Gernsheim in conversation with Ulrich Guttmayr, in, The Daily Newspaper Taz, the 12th of October 2011 at the common identity should first be identified. Ulrich Beck and Elisabeth Beck Gernsheim in conversation with Jeanette Villa Chica, in Tages Anzeiger, November 9, 2011. Love across national borders. Ulrich Beck and Elisabeth Beck Gernsheim, in Time Campus, the 22nd of November 2011. About the Merkiavellismus, talk with Nils Minkma, in, Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung, January 16, 2013 More Willy Brandt der Ulrich Beck and Martin Schulz on the Future of Europe, in, Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung, May 24, 2013 <laughs> <laughs> Literature on Beck Richard Albrecht, Differentiation, Pluralization, Individualization, Make-up Process in the German Society, in, Trade Union Monat Schäft, Vol. 41 1990, No. 8, S.503-512 PDF, 137 kilobytes. Klaus Dorry. Reflexive Modernization, A Transition Theory for analytical potential of a popular sociological time diagnosis, Ruhr University Bochum, Hans Magnus Enzensberger, Mediocrity and Madness. A proposal to goodness, trans, mediocrity and madness. Collected Distractions, Sir Camp Frankfurt am Main 1988, pp 250–276, Monica E. Fisher, Space and Time. The Forms of Adult Learning of Modernization Theory Point of View, publishing Schneider Hohengeren, Baltmannsweiler 2007, ISBN 978 3 8340 0266 2. Ronald Hitzler, Ulrich Beck, in Current Theories of Sociology. Schmuel N. Eisenstadt to Postmodernism, Dirk Kaisler, C. H. Beck Editors, Munich, 2005, pp 267–285, ISBN 3-406-52822-8 Karl Otto Ondrich the Dialectic of Collectivization and Individualization, The Example of Couple Relationships, in, From Politics and History, H. 53, 1998 the 25th of December 1998, pp. 328 Thomas Cron, ed., Individualization and Sociological Theory, Leska plus Budrick, Applaud and 2000 ISBN 3-8100-2505-4 Angelica Pofel, Ulrich Beck, in, Stefan Mobius, Dirk Quad Fly, ed., Culture. Theories of the Present, vs. Verlag für Social Sciences, Wiesbaden 2006, ISBN 3-531-14519-3 Angelica Pofel, Nartin Snyder, ed., Ulrich Beck's Cosmopolitan Project on the Way to Another Sociology, Nomos, Baden-Baden 2004 Armin Pongs, Ulrich Beck, The Risk Society, Trans, What Kind of Society Are We Living In? 
1999, Dilemma für Lage, Munich 2007, pp 47–66, Kasela Risha, Political Theory in the Presence of Individual Representations of Adorno Young, Kroner, Stuttgart 2004, pp 43–46, ISBN 3-520-34301-0 Volker Stork, The Second Modernity, a brand to Antikiethit and Negativity of Social Utopia of Ulrich Beck, UVK Verl, G.E.S. Constance 2001, ISBN 3-89669-802-8 See also Global Governance